So we've got two moose there. We've got one moose there. And I believe we have, and we've got one right there. Four moose in the backyard. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I got a little something here in the backyard I got to take care of. And you can see behind me, these spruce trees, like those ones right there, are all dead. And we've got several, what, there's six or seven there. I've got some other dead trees back here. There's a dead tree right there. That guy right there is dead. So today's project is to take down these trees so that they don't blow down and do some damage. I need to get them knocked down, get them bucked up, and it's a great time to do it. I don't have a lot else going on. I'm kind of waiting for things to, for spring to hit so I can get over to Toke. So let's get some trees cut. Well, that was short-lived. Chainsaw cap broke for the oil. So I guess that ends that. This is my second attempt. I gotta cut these down, or at least start cutting them down. And uh, the first attempt I had, I got out there and it broke the oil cap off. I don't even know how that happened, but I got a new oil cap on and we're gonna go for it one more time. was easy. Here I'm going to show you the wood. Look at the stump. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah. Look at the outer ring. It's just the, all the sap wood, which is all that outer wood. All the sap wood's been eaten by the beetles. Looks like it's got a fairly good core to it, but yeah, the sap wood's all eaten up. Crazy. That birch tree right there, that's the next to go. See, it's all dead, all dead. We'll knock that one down next. Oh. 
inside of the stump hollow so it was all rotted out on the inside got to be careful when you're cutting trees like that down so we got another dead one there that's another birch and that thing's really dead I'll leave that for now we need to go back here and we need to start trimming up these guys a lot of dead stuff there so yeah, and there's the house and there's the trees. And those are, oh, I don't know, 40, 50 feet. They need to be cleared. Let's get on it.
down a few we got one two I mean there's just a bunch of them back here there's dead up unfortunately the spruce trees all died it's only a few spruce left too bad all right well we were able to knock down those trees behind me there and these trees a couple of them are nice and now that we've got our sawmill I'll be able to buck these into, I don't know, probably 15, 16 foot, 10 foot, 16 foot, 12 foot, and hopefully cut into some framing lumber. I mean, so, uh, like this one here was a little bit rotten, but the center of it was decent. But a couple of those were solid wood still. So I'm hoping I can get a few, I hope I can get a few logs here to mill up. So awesome. Well, I've got some fish to smoke. I got to get out to the smoker and Alaska just won't give up on winter. We're March 25th. We're at the end of March or close to the end of March. And look at this. I shoveled this already once this morning and it just keeps snowing. All right, it's about that time the fish is probably done, so I need to go check on it. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah. Looking good. A little brown sugar on top, melted. Mmm. Well, hopefully you can see behind me here, we got our sawmill in. So I picked it up on the trailer yesterday. We got a beautiful sunny day today. And unfortunately we are scheduled for about eight inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. I wanna try and get this thing put together. Let's get it started.
Well, that's what it looks like inside the boxes. Just more boxes. Looks like we've got the motor right there. It's a Kohler 14 horsepower motor. Yeah, so lots of parts and pieces to take out. So just so you guys know what I bought, I bought the Woodland Mills HM130 Max Woodlander. And the Woodlander is just that it has the trailer. And it's the Woodlander, I guess that you call it the XL, because you have two options. You have a, uh, I think a 12 foot and a 16 foot trailer. This one will cut up to 16 foot long um, boards, which is what I wanted. So I got the XL. So it's a HM130 Max Woodlander XL with the 14 horsepower Kohler. So I also picked up a tow board. I picked up uh, two boxes of blades because I'm going to be, you know, out in the middle of nowhere where I'm not going to have a lot of assistance. So I got two boxes of blades. I picked up the um, Woodland Mills sh bandsaw sharpener and the tooth setter. And so, yeah, so I, I think I got everything that I'm going to need. I picked up a, a PV or a uh, can't hook from them. And so hopefully we can get to Mellon once this is all together and taken over to Toke. kinds of parts and pieces in there. Hey, not that I don't want to, but there is no way I'm gonna film putting this together. I gotta focus on, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. So I got to focus on putting this together and when it's done, I don't know, day or two. And when it's done, I'll show you guys. I'm supposed to get a bunch of snow tonight. So I got to worry about uh, getting this stuff in a garage somewhere. But as far as I can tell, I need to put this trailer together first and then come over and start worrying about putting all the sawmill parts together. It's going to be a chore, no doubt. So. I better get busy. Guys, I wanted to film this, but I think it's just gonna belabor the point. And I just wanna get it done as quickly as possible so that I have not we can move on. All right, I'm gonna get it done. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can show you at the end of this video uh, maybe what I got done so far. But if you guys like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, got the sawmill coming in. Very nice. What's for the other boys? Any way you can get it in further? Right. right there. Awesome, thank you.